walls went up in our tiny home, things started to come together really quickly. But first, we wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like every single day when we have to unpack our bus. We have to unload all of the wood and everything from our workspace, get everything set up outside for our outdoor workspace before we can even start building. This has been quite a long and exhausting process every single day. So we're really looking forward to getting rid of some of the big pieces of wood and things that are taking up a lot of room in the bus. Once we had a clean workspace, we were finally able to start getting to work on actually building for the day. Today, we were building the walls for our pantry, our closet, and our bathroom. I was working on the small pieces while Ron was working on cutting the bigger pieces, which were much more intric intricate because they had to curve to the shape of the ceiling. Once these were all put together, we finally had a beautiful finished wall. And welcome to my bus project for the day. Today, I will be taking apart these wooden bed flats um, and I'm gonna be recycling them and using them to build our couch. Basically, a few months ago, I found these next to the trash and they were perfectly good. And because the price of wood is absolutely through the roof right now, I thought, why not use them? I can definitely use them in our bus build. So, what was once old bed slats, I am going through and pulling all of the staples out. And then I am going to use these to make the slats in our convertible couch. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Couch building, take one. It is still the morning time and I haven't even touched the couch yet and I've already had one mental breakdown. So, this should be a good day trying to build a couch. Step one of building a couch. We've started to get refurbished wood because wood is super expensive now. So Ron picked up some pallets um, from his work, but now we have to get the nails out. So that's step one. salvage boards like we are. Try to get out as many nails, screws, staples as possible. But if you can't, like there's a lot in the end right here, you just cut it off. like a recliner 
extendable end for our couch and we're gonna have one extendable end over here but also we wanted this to pull out so that you can sit here and we're gonna do like a little table in the middle so we can sit across from each other and then let me see if we'll push back in whoop yeah. does tilt so we're gonna have to figure that out i think we can put like a stable bar on the bottom but then it pushes back in and it lifts up oh my god oh my god and then we'll have storage under here i built this i built this and i still don't understand how it works i don't understand how it flips and it pulls out i so mean i do explain to them how you got it to flip up and fold out <laughs> okay so we've got it to flip up and fold out so back here we attached a little two by two that flips up like this so that's what makes it flip but in front of the two by two right here you can see we attached a one by three so what we did back here is the boards are alternating every other board one board is screwed on to the one by three and one board is screwed on to the two by two so that means when i pull this board is stabled because it's spew it's screwed to this board and this board goes because there's like a floating board underneath that is able to pull with it. And then if you come to the front, we did kind of the same. This two by four here is just part of the couch frame, which makes it stable and able to hold our weight. And then right here is a one by three and then another two by four. So again, every other board, the board that comes out and moves is screwed on to the two by four here so it can pull out and the board that doesn't move is screwed into the little one by three here, but everything is able to pick up because of that. So. And that bottom one by three just needs to be moved. Yeah, and this can just be moved. But under here also for extra support, so this wasn't the only thing supporting our weight, we screwed another two by two beam under here that this can kind of rest on so that we have more than enough support for our weight. And oh my God, one section of three. I have to do this two more times. Oh, and then this is our little, can be our little armrest. Whew. We might have to cut our cushion short though. This seems like a good height as it is now, but right now we have a six inch cushion, which will bump it up. But we'll see, we can always cut our cushion shorter. I'm so excited. We have some things that we can do to make it better, but it works. I built a couch. I built a 